Hello YouTube, this is my uh, first video of what I hope will be a quite a big series of me starting up the hobby again of Lord of the Rings, uh, Warhammer, painting, the models and everything. I used to do this a while ago but I haven't picked it up in a while so uh, it should be quite interesting to see how either how bad I got or if I've improved with my patience at all from painting them and gluing them together and things. Um, my first purchase was this box set, which is a starter kit for the Mines of Moria. Um, and I'll just basically go through it right now and see what we got in the box. Okay, on this first small, you got, uh, from the top there, you got Gamely, Gandalf, and you've got his staff there on his arm that you have to glue in. Uh, next row down, we'll turn it over. You've got Frodo, um, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. Uh, they were rocks. Sam's got his uh, uh, frying pan there, which is quite cool. Um, on the row up, you got what I can assume is the one, one, the, the one ring, but unfortunately, um, my fingers don't really fit in them. Uh, it <laughs> so I won't be wearing that kind of film. Um, next, you have an arm for Boromir and Aragorn there, and above them, obviously, Aragorn and Boromir. And then next to him, you got Legolas. So that's the school for the Fellowship of the Ring, basically, and that's quite quite a nice detail and everything like that, so that's good. Right. Next two spools we got uh, four of each of the Moria Goblins, so you got four of bows there, four of spears, four of swords and shields. Uh, shields have to be glued on next to them, which will be quite good. Uh, put that in there. And again, same again. You got the swords, the spears, the shields. It's quite interesting. Very detailed, very nice little models. Next, this big spool has the uh, scenery pieces for the Mines of Moria. So you've got some columns there, the doorway, um, the well, Barlin's tomb, and you've got some like floor pieces of it, which I think go onto Barlin's tomb, but you've got, yeah, quite interesting little floor pieces there. Or some dead dwarfs. And let me just move that out of the way. Should be quite interesting to paint. The last figure you get is uh, the cave troll. And you've got his body, his back, his head, um, his left arm. And then for his right arm, you have the choice of a hammer or a trident spear. I'm probably going to go with the hammer because it just looks so much cooler. But um, you might choose a trident spear if you get in this kit. It's, quite, it's not too bad. I just find the hammer look a bit more mm, powerful. So, I'll put that in there. Uh, next few bits you get, you get the uh, ruler sticks playing the game, which uh, you know, centimeters it looks like, so that's quite cool. Four dice to play the game as then. Um, a load of base plates, there should be another one here. Yeah, there's a bigger one for the decay troll, and these are all for uh, the more goblins and the fellowship. So. Here you have 12 sets of paints. Now I'm not sure which ones they are, but um, you get your like black, you get your white, you get some flesh colours, you get green, blue, yellow, browns, reds. So it is quite a good little set. Um, but obviously the actual paints themselves from Games Workshop are a lot bigger, so you get more in them. But not too bad for little starter paints. We could use the pots later as well for mixing and things. And then in here, what we have is uh, the strategy rules and uh, the Minds of Moria like information pack about all the different characters and stuff. On the actual back of it, you got most of the like moves and things. And I'm not going to be playing the game too much, so I shouldn't really. I'm not too bothered about this. Um, what I'm more interested in is the next thing we got, which is a painting guide. Now I'm going to use a lot of YouTube channels to help me, like, like Beasts of War is quite a good one. Uh, I've, seen, I've been learning how to paint on them for the last few days and just been watching what they do on their Warhammer 40k stuff. But um, I'm going to try and do as close as I can to the actual ones that the Games Workshop say for the colours and things. So it should be quite good. And there, uh, they've got all the different colour screens and things. And there. So that's about that's all you get in here basically. Um, so for my next episode, I'll probably be gluing some of the things together, putting them on their bases, and getting.
get ready to spray. 